But it's important to clarify that the club, from what we're told from Chelsea, is not for sale. So this statement from Roman Abramovich is not to say in public, I want to sell Chelsea. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano, as every single day to discuss together about transfers, football insights and many other stuff. And today, guys, it's time to talk about Chelsea and Chelsea situation for their owner, President Roman Abramovich. So what's the situation? What happened after the statement of Roman Abramovich? What's next? For Chelsea, let's clarify some key points on Chelsea situation together here on this video. Let's jump into it. And so guys, first of all, I want to read you the statement. I'm sure you already saw because it was a huge one for Chelsea, a huge news for Chelsea. But it's important to remember the words from Roman Abramovich as he's never speaking, he's never giving interviews, he's never giving statements. And so having words from Roman Abramovich is always a news. And he said, during my nearly 20 year ownership of Chelsea Football Club, I've always viewed my role as a custodian of the club whose job is to ensure that we are successful as we can be today as well as we build for the future while also playing a positive role in our communities, uh, Roman Abramovich says. And then he adds, I have always taken decisions with the club's best interest at heart. I remain committed to these values. That is why I am today giving trustees of Chelsea's charitable foundation to stewardship and care of Chelsea football. Club. I believe that currently they are in the best position to look after the interests of Chelsea club, player, staff and fans. So really huge statement from Roman Abramovich with many Chelsea fans worried on the situation after the statement. Then I wanted to clarify what's next and what is changing for Chelsea. It's really important to understand that, of course, this statement from Roman Abramovich is related to what's happening in, uh, in Ukraine with Russia. So, of course, it's a geopolitical issue at the moment. That's why uh, the, the, the statement from, from Chelsea with Roman Abramovich. But it's important to clarify that the club, from what we're told from Chelsea, is not for sale. So this statement from Roman Abramovich is not to say in public, I want to sell Chelsea. This is something that Abramovich is not doing right now as things stand. Let's say in the future what happens, but as of today, the, miss the mission of this statement is not to sell Chelsea Football Club, but Roman Abramovich. And also it's important to clarify that Roman Abramovich is still the owner of Chelsea and this is what he wants to do. So he's not changing his position at the moment. I say at the moment because things in football can change quickly we know but at the moment this is not the plan for Roman Abramovich what's the situation he decided to change his role into Chelsea Football Club to protect the club to protect every single person who is working for Chelsea I mean the board I mean the players the technical staff the fans of course so he knows that his position in this moment due to the political situation is not easy absolutely and that's why Roman Abramovich wants to protect Chelsea with his move what does it mean for Chelsea in the next future that everything on football decisions will be in the hands of the director Marina Granovskaya who is doing a brilliant job since long time and so this is not new for Chelsea but of course she will have a lot of powers decisions for, for Chelsea in the coming months together with Peter Cech who is always in important man in Chelsea board. So they are doing very well. Chelsea are champions of the world, are champions of Europe, thanks also to the work of Marina Granovskaya and Peter Cech. And that's why they're really under control of the situation. But also, it means that also for future transfers, for a contra situation, we know that they are involved in the situation of Aspilicueta, Christensen with Barcelona pushing and Bayer are still interested, with Tony Rudiger situation still open. So many things are happening on contracts. It will be only focused for the board and Roman Abraham which will not be involved in any football decision also for the new signings so that's why Abramovich would formally will not be the man who is uh, taking care of Chelsea situation but at the same point he is still the owner and Chelsea are not for sale so his decision is to protect Chelsea and to have the total focus on football and not on people attacking Abramovich because of the current situation. This is why he's doing this move. Also important to clarify that Thomas Tuchel received an information on this statement uh, just a few hours before the official note on Chelsea Football Club website. So he understood the situation. He was, it was communicated directly by the board uh, and he accepted what Roman Abramovich decided to do and his focus is only on the pitch.
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Roman Abramovich statement on Chelsea situation for their board, uh, for their ownership. So what do you think of this Chelsea story? I wait for your comments here. As always, remember guys to subscribe to my channel because every single day we jump into stories, managers, owners, football transfers, many other things. As always, remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell. See you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao.